Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for coming. And today we are going to be doing a zebra sun catcher. So this is the project that we're going to be making today, and it comes in the green creatology kit. So hopefully you all have some of these um, kits. If you don't have the kit, I'll tell you what materials you need, and then you can go ahead and kind of make them on your own too. So like Chanel said, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the Q&A and we'll try and uh, do the best we can with answering them. We're so glad that all of you have joined us. So thank you for coming from wherever you are to make a craft with us today. So I think we're ready for an unboxing. I'm gonna open up my green kit and I'm gonna get everything that I need in order to make the zebra sun catcher. So inside of your kit, you're gonna find a stencil. Your stencil probably still has the belly of the zebra stuck in it. I already used mine, so it already came out. So find this stencil and another stencil you're gonna find is gonna be this one that's gonna have some, can't quite see it, triangles on it. So find the stencil that has some triangles on it and find the body of your zebra. And then you're gonna need some pieces of foam. So if you don't have foam, you can use paper. If you don't have this stencil, you can draw your own zebra. You can also watch this video again. So if you wanna actually find the kit and find all the real materials, then you can come back and watch this video again later. So don't forget that you can always watch this video again. You can slow me down or you can speed me up if I'm going too slow. So you have your body stencil, you have your triangles. The other things that you're going to need are gonna be some pieces of white foam. So three or four pieces of white foam would be awesome. So here's my foam. That's gonna be for the main body of the zebra. And then we're also going to need two black pipe cleaners or Chanel stems. So some people call these Chanel stems because they're nice and soft. And some people call these pipe cleaners. And then we have a little pack of stickers and you probably didn't even know what this little pack was, but guess what? This is going to be for the nose of your zebra. So it kind of looks like a smiley face or something like that. And it's really going to be the nose of your zebra. We're also going to need a Google eye. So make sure you got your wiggle eyes so that we can put a little wiggle eye on it. And then probably one of the most important parts of the sun catcher are the tissue paper. So the tissue paper comes in little tiny squares. Let me get mine out for you. So little tiny. Here we go. So here are my little tiny tissue paper squares. You're gonna need a little bit of craft glue. You're gonna need some scissors. And you're going to need a pencil that doesn't come in the kit, but I hope that you have a pencil or some kind of writing utensil laying around to help you out. So those are going to be the materials that we need. If you have the markers, we can add extra marks on the zebra on their legs. So keep those markers handy too. So the most important things you're going to need are tissue paper squares and a little bit of foam or paper to actually make your zebra body. All right. Everybody ready to dig in? Okay, if you haven't already, go ahead and punch out the belly of your zebra and you're going to lay the zebra on your white foam and it should fit on that white foam pretty nicely. And then take a pencil or a marker or anything you got laying around and go ahead and trace the outside of the zebra. all the way around. Don't forget that tail. Bloop. Then guess what? You're also going to have to trace the inside of the zebra because in order to make this into a sun catcher, you're going to need some blank space for the sunlight to be able to go through. So we're going to cut this part out. Now there's going to be a front of your zebra and a back of your zebra. And so you're going to need two of these. So you're gonna to go to another piece of foam and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna trace another one of these zebras onto the next piece of foam. And you gotta trace the outside of the zebra. And you guessed it, 
you also have to trace the inside of the zebra. Okay. All right, Megan, we're getting um, a couple questions like this. Okay. If they don't have foam, what do you think they can use instead? Well, if you don't have foam, if you have a piece of white paper, like maybe paper that goes into a printer, I think that would be a really good idea. If you have construction paper, even if you don't have white, you can use whatever color paper you have. Um, any paper is fine. Foam is awesome because it gives it a little extra thickness. But if you don't have foam, that's not the end of the world. You can just use any kind of piece of paper. All right, I got two zebras going on. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these out. So first I'm just gonna cut on the outside line. So I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm gonna cut out this zebra. Now something I sometimes like to do when I'm cutting is just cut closer and then go in and be as precise as I can. So if you don't feel comfortable cutting or if you feel like your cutting isn't quite good right this second, you can ask a grown up for help or maybe an older brother or sister and they can help you cut this foam. Hopefully it'll be a nice easy cut for you. And you can just keep cutting around the outside of your zebra. And remember, we're gonna have to do this twice because to make a sun catcher, we're gonna make a zebra sandwich, <laughs> which um, I don't know about you, but I don't wanna have a zebra sandwich, but I'm gonna make a zebra sandwich so that we can make this sun catcher. So this is just the outside. And I'm gonna cut the outside before I show you how to cut out that belly. So I hope that most of you are out of school now. I am living in Texas, so it's very hot where I live right now. I hope that your house is a little bit cooler, that you're getting ready to do some fun summer things. I love All right, I have, in the I have another question for you that we're getting quite a few of. Okay. What is a sun catcher? Oh, great question. Well, when I hold this up, do you see how you can kind of see through like the light coming through it? So a sun catcher is something that literally the sun, like this light comes down on it and catches it and kind of makes some little rainbows in your room if you hold it up to the sun. So it's really fun to be able to kind of see all these bright colors shine through. So that's what a sun catcher is all about. Catching the sun and making some colors. Any other questions you have? That's it for right now. All right. Well, remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always watch this video again and slow down and stop it if you need to stop and cut for a longer portion of time. We put the videos up the day after the class, so you'll find them on our YouTube channel. There's also some videos that we already filmed so that you can watch those too. And they have closed captions if you need to be able to have some extra help hearing what we have to say. So I'm on my second sheet of foam and I'm on my second zebra body and I'm cutting this out going around the tail. I wonder if anybody in this class has ever seen a zebra before. Probably not a zebra like this one. <laughs> All right, I'm almost done cutting out the outside of my zebra. And then I'm gonna to have to show you how to cut out the inside of the zebra. So we have two pieces of foam. This is the zebra sandwich. And we need to cut out this part so that we can make the part that captures all the sunlight with our bright colors. So in order to get the inside of this foam out, here's what I do. I'm gonna take my zebra and fold them in half. And then I'm gonna make a little cut right in the middle. And that cut helps me get my pair of scissors inside of here 
so I can go around and cut out the belly of the zebra. So what I did, I'll show you again on the other one, is I folded it in half, I made a slit, I cut in this middle part, and then I used that slit to get my scissors in there so I can cut the inside foam and take it out of there. Excellent. And we want to decorate a little face a little bit too, so it's nice to have this part taken out so we can get color all the way up the neck and up to the zebra's face. So I just cut out the inside of my first zebra. I'm going to go to my next zebra and I'm going to do the same thing. So in order to get this part out, I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to cut a slit and that slit is going to help me get my scissors in here so they can cut the inside of the zebra belly and take it out. Remove it in order to put in some colors. So when you finish your zebra sun catcher, you can hang it by a window or maybe like on the rear view mirror of your car and you can kind of see some of the light dancing through it. So that'll be really fun. So my zebra sun catcher, my first step is pretty much done. I have a zebra sandwich, a front and a back. I cut out the belly. So this is a good step for us. Make sure everybody's doing okay. If you have any questions, you can put them in the Q&A and we'll try and answer them for you. If you have these instructions that come with your packet too, you can always follow along or if you wanna work ahead, you can use those to help you too or see other pictures of somebody else doing it. Sometimes you just need to see it another way before you know what you're doing. So here are the two pieces of zebra. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the stripes, the little triangles of foam that we're gonna add in. Hey, Megan, um, yeah. before you move on, um, so we have a couple of people who are falling behind. So I thought maybe um, but we also have a couple people who are saying that they can't find certain things in the kit. Okay. Um, I was wondering if you could maybe show where you found things in the kit while some people caught up and sure. the other people hopefully can find what they need. Of course. So inside of the kit, this main section is going to be where your foam is. So you're going to have some foam in this section. And then the other little sections in the kit are going to be where some of the other things that you're looking for are hiding. And here down at the bottom are where your pipe cleaners or your Chanel stems are. So I'm gonna go through again and kind of tell you the things that you need. So if you haven't already pulled them out, if you're a little bit behind, you definitely need some white foam. If you don't have foam, you can use paper. And then the next thing you're gonna need is a stencil. So there's a stencil that looks like the body of the zebra and you're gonna to wanna to find that. If you don't have the stencil, there's a website that you can go to and you can find the template and maybe somebody can print it out for you. So then if that's the case, then you might just wanna watch this for fun right now and then watch the video later when you're actually making it. Another stencil you're gonna need has these triangles on it. So you want this ten the template that has triangles. The hardest thing probably to find in your kit is gonna be this tiny little bag of tissue paper squares. So that should be towards where your paint is. There's some other paper squares. These squares are a little bigger for a different project for the lion, but the tiny ones are gonna be your tissue paper sun catcher. You need some wiggle eyes. You need two pipe cleaners and then some glue, some scissors and a pencil. So I hope that you're catching up. And again, if you need to slow down, that's okay. Just watch and enjoy the video today. And then you can always go back and make it again in a little bit. So I think we're going to keep going. And the next step that we're at is going to be to make these triangles. So I still need to punch mine out. Punch. Punch. I like this part. <laughs> it's fun. I'm punching these parts out. These are what's going to make the stripes on my zebra. And then I bet you could fit these triangles onto one of your other pieces of foam. But if you really uh, want to use a brand new piece of foam, that's fine. 
But if you want to try and squeeze them onto some of your other foam, if you want to share your foam with somebody else, that would be cool too. So it's up to you. But you're going to make two sets of these triangles. So I'm putting them down. I'm using my pencil. And I'm going to trace each one of these triangles. And then I can go over to the side and I can do the same thing again. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five stripes for each side of the zebra sandwich. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna cut all of these out. These are the stickers that you're gonna use for the nose of the zebra. And there's also a sticker up here that you can use for the ear. And I'll show you how to do that when we get towards the end. So I'm ready for cutting again. I'm just cutting my foam down so I can get a better cut. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm gonna cut one triangle. Oh, oh, oh. Then I'm gonna cut a second triangle. A third triangle. A fourth triangle and five. Now you have choices. If you don't like making those triangles, if that wasn't very fun for you and you don't want to do it again, you don't have to. You can just put stripes on one side. You don't need stripes on both sides because this is the back of your zebra anyway. So it's up to you if you want to do five stripes on the front and five stripes on the back, or if you just want to do on the front. So those are my five stripes. I'm gonna cut my back stripes out too. But if you need a little more time or if you don't wanna do back stripes, you don't have to do back stripes. So I'm cutting this down and then I'm gonna cut them out as best I can. If you need help, maybe ask a grown up or an older brother or sister to help you cut things. I'm gonna cut five triangles again. So I hope that some of you have come to some of the other camp classes that we've had so far. Even if you didn't get a chance to come to camp last week, you can still go to the store and pick up the kit from last week. And there's videos online, so you can watch the videos and you can do any of the earlier weeks too. Or if you know that you're going out of town next week, you can still pick up the kit and then do that whenever you want to because we'll have the videos ready for you. So I have stripes ready to go. I have my zebra ready to go. I have everything cut out. And the next thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm gonna take one of my zebras and see how my zebra is facing this way. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue on these stripes. So the stripes can be up or down, doesn't matter if you want your triangles to go up or down. You can kind of match the zebra I already have or you can make your own zebra with its own stripes. So I'm putting the stripes on to kind of go over the belly of the zebra. I'm using the biggest triangles first. And then I'm gonna use some of the smaller triangles to use up towards where the neck and the head are. So I'm just putting a little dab of glue on each one of my triangles and laying it across the belly. There we go. And one more. Now remember, you don't have to put stripes on the back if you don't want to. So if you just want to do them on the front, that is just fine.
There we go. You don't have to use stripes. And if you messed up on the tail, um, if you don't have foam over here for the tail, I bet you can turn your pipe cleaners, your Chanel stems into a tail. So don't worry about that either. The stopper from the blue, that should be, um, if there's a little tiny piece of paper, you can use a pencil or something to poke it. Um, you might be able to peel it off with your fingernails if you have some good fingernails. So hopefully you can get that ready to go. So hopefully you're attaching the front stripes. And then before I attach the back stripes, I'm gonna start doing the actual sun catcher part. Or actually maybe I'll just let this dry for a second and I'll do the back stripes. So since it's gonna be on the back, I'm gonna have to flip my zebra over. So now my zebras are facing each other because then when I stack them on top of each other, they're gonna fit again. So here's my zebra and I already have those stripes glued down. And here's my zebra facing it. So these ones are made out of foam, but you can make them out of paper if you don't have foam. And if your zebras aren't even, that's okay too. As long as you have some empty space in the belly, then you'll be able to still put your tissue paper and it'll still be a beautiful sun catcher. All right, so I'm about to attach my next five stripes onto the other side of the zebra. You don't have to do the back if you don't want to. So if you don't wanna do this part, just sit back and watch for a second. I'm gonna put a little dab of glue on each one of my triangles. And again, these stripes don't have to be exactly the same as the stripes on the other side either. So that's kind of fun. And I'm just gonna put these stripes down on my zebra. I got five stripes to be able to spread out wherever I want them. One more up here at the neck. There we go. Hooray. Now both of these zebras can kind of dry for a little bit and we can let that glue sit and make sure that it gets nice and uh, dry. But we are gonna take one of the zebras and we're gonna flip it over and we're going to add some fun tissue paper to make the colorful inside belly of your sun catcher. So let's see if there's more questions or things. Your triangles won't fit in the belly. Well, you can, I have some extra pieces of foam. If you don't want triangles, you can use big rectangles and your rectangle stripes can go across. So you can cut yourself some longer pieces if yours are too small or if they're going in, or if they're like shark teeth and they're kind of just going in and leaving some space, that's okay too. It's really fine. Looks like we're doing pretty good. All right, so I have my right side zebra and I have my upside down zebra. I'm gonna flip this one. So see how now my foam, both of my zebras are going this way. And this one, the foam is on the bottom. And this one, the foam triangles are on the top. So there are two sheets. There's only one template of triangles. There's only this one template, but you're gonna do it twice in order to be able to get a couple. So if you're feeling um, like you're, I'm going way too fast, don't worry. You can keep watching this video just for fun. And we do have other videos already online that you can go and grab and you can make the same zebra sun catcher with me just on a different video. So it's okay. All right, I'm about to do the sun catcher part with the tissue paper squares. So I hope that you can find your tissue paper squares. And I'm gonna open up this little baggie. If you're outside or something, don't let them blow away because they're just tissue paper. They're gonna be easy to fly away. And I have a bunch of different colors. So I'm kind of using my fingers to pinch them apart so I can see some of these cool different colors I got going on. And when I'm doing my tissue paper, I'm just gonna do it on one side of the zebra. And then I'm gonna sandwich these zebras back together. And I'm gonna have the tissue paper in the middle. 
So you want the zebra stripes to be on the outside and you want your sun catcher tissue paper to be on the inside. So if you can't fold your zebra, if you can't fold your foam in half and make a little snip to get your scissors, um, you might ask a grown up if they can help you cut out that center part because that is a little bit tricky, no doubt. Or you can put tissue paper over top of it and that's fine too. So here we go. Now we're gonna use our tissue paper squares and we're gonna fill up all of this blank space. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue towards the mouth and the ear of my zebra. And I'm gonna take a tissue paper square and I'm gonna go boop and cover it up. Now, it doesn't have to look perfect because guess what? It's gonna go inside the zebra sandwich and so we're gonna be able to hide some of this. Now, if your square is too long or if it goes over, you can cut it down or you can use your fingers to tear smaller pieces of tissue paper. So now I have this little space by my nose so I can cut a really small piece of tissue paper to go up by that nose spot. Boop. And I'm gonna keep putting little bits of glue down the neck and I'm gonna add some tissue paper. So you might wanna cut your little tissue paper squares into smaller pieces. And I'm gonna put some more glue down. There we go. Um, what if you don't have tissue paper? What do you think they can use instead? Mm -hmm. Well, if you don't have tissue paper, you can always take a marker and color your own paper and just make different colored pieces of paper. And you can kind of make very small colored pieces of paper that you can put on this too. Or if you don't have any kind of paper like that either, you can just color with the markers. Um, if you have the kit, the marker kit, you can just make some colors. If you don't want to cut anything out, that is fine. So I'm just filling up this space with my sun catcher right now. And you just need to fill up this space and it doesn't need to look pretty because this is the inside of the zebra sandwich. So with your second sheet of triangles, you just trace them two times and you cut out some triangles for the front and some triangles for the back of the zebra. All right, I'm gonna keep going. And what's nice with our stripes is our stripes can kind of help us. We can put some glue on them and get some of those across the belly parts because the tissue paper squares won't go all the way across. So it's nice we have those stripes to help us too. And I wanna keep using all the different colors. So I wanna kind of put some blue down here because I haven't used blue in a second. There we go. And I haven't used orange. So I need to use a little bit of orange so I can have all the colors on my zebra. A little bit more on the back. There are the pieces down to make them a little bit smaller if you want. And I'm going to do just a little bit of yellow right here at the bottom to finish that off. So I'm only going to do the tissue paper on one side of the zebra and it's the inside of the zebra sandwich. And I've covered all the spots that I need. And just to kind of give you a preview, if you flip it over, see how cool that is with all those different colors shining through, kind of like a stained glass window if you've ever seen one of those. So just a little bit of glue will do nicely. Just, oops, lost a lid of my glue, there we go. All right, so that's the inside of my zebra sandwich. This is the other side of my zebra sandwich. 
And so we're going to sandwich these together to make our sun catcher. But before we sandwich them together, I'm going to show you how to cut out some hair. So my zebra has some hair coming in these different places. And I made that hair using pipe cleaners. So what you're going to want to do with one of your pipe cleaners is you're going to fold it in half. And then you're going to cut it. And then you're going to take one of those halves and fold it in half again. And fold it in half again. And you're going to make all your pieces that big. These are going to be some little punk rock pieces for the mane, for the hair of your zebra. So I folded my Chanel stem in half and I cut it. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. And I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to fold it in half again and cut it. So each one of these is about an inch big. And I don't know if you know this, but your knuckle on your finger is about one inch. So each of those is about an inch big. I'm going to fold this one in half, make it about an inch big. Now you can have as much hair or as little hair as your zebra wants. And you're going to make some for the mane up here. And then you're probably going to want to attach some for the tail at the end too. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to put some glue in front of the ear. And I'm going to put some glue down the back of the head because that's where I'm going to put my mane. And then I'm going to lay these little pieces. Now, it doesn't matter what this looks like on the inside because we're going to make a zebra sandwich. And so this part's going to get hidden. So I'm just laying down my pieces on that glue to make some hair going down the back of my zebra. Looks like I might need a little bit more glue over here. And if you want your hair to be longer or if you want your hair to be curly, you can curl up the pipe cleaner. <laughs> you can do whatever you need to. I might put one more hair in the front. A little bit of glue there. I'm starting to glue, get glue all over my fingers too. Good thing it's easy to wash off. All right. I think that looks pretty good. So then I'm ready to sandwich these together. And that's going to help hold that hair in place too. So you're going to want a lot of glue. I'm going to put some glue over top of the hair too. And I'm going to put some glue down the leg. And the places where it's going to match up. Now you don't want to put glue all over the middle, all over the belly, because you already had that. but you can put it around the back. And then I'm gonna take my other piece of zebra and I'm gonna make a sandwich. Gonna line it up as best I can. And I'm gonna smush it down. Now, if you don't want the hair to show, you can just pull those little hairs up a little bit. Whoa, crazy hair. You can curl the hair. You can cut it down if it's too long. <laughs> it's blowing in the wind. Zebra sun catcher blowing in the wind. Beautiful. Now it's going to be a little sticky because we have a lot of glue to keep it together. But that is OK. So here's one side and here's the other side. And I'm turning the zebra this way because when I put my face on my zebra, I see that this nose sticker is facing to the right. It's going this way. So I'm taking off the sticker and I'm gonna put the nose right here. Now my zebra is smiling and so happy with its hair blowing in the wind. And it definitely needs an eyeball too. So if you don't have pipe cleaners, you can take a little piece of paper and you can cut up little paper strips 
You can even use tissue paper. If you want to crumple up some tissue paper and make it have cool different color hair, you can do that too. So I'm going to take one of my wiggle eyes. Let's see here. There we go. And I'm gonna plop it into the part that already has the tissue paper. Boop. Huh? It's cute. I love it. So this is definitely gonna wanna dry a little bit. And you also have, oh, these are like hooves, I think. Are they hooves? I don't know what they are. Are they for this one? Hmm. I don't think I've ever used these ones. If anybody knows what these are, you can let me know. But then I want to make a little bit of hair for um, the tail also. So here's the tail. So I have a second black pipe cleaner. And what I did with, thank you, with the pipe cleaner is I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to fold it in half. Cut. I'm going to fold it in half. So each one of these little pieces of hair is about an inch long. And I'm going to take a couple of them and I'm just going to glue them on over here. So if you want to cut one a little bit shorter, or one a little bit longer to kind of fit on the tail space, probably about three would fit on the tail space pretty nice. If you want to put more, you can. If yours is a fluffy, Oh, they're for the lion. Somebody said that those are for the lion. So we better save those. They're probably the nose of the lion maybe now. That makes sense. Thank you. All right. So now I need some glue right here where the tail goes. And I'm going to lay these pipe cleaners down. And what's great about pipe cleaners is that you can bend them. So if you want them to go a certain way, you can bend them that way. I just like to have a nice little puddle of glue. Just a little dot. I think maybe three will do for me. <laughs> Sticking to my fingers. Okay. And then once you have them in the glue, you want to leave them alone so that they can dry. I have some zebra fuzz on my paper. There we go. Ta da! Cute. Maybe I should hold this for a minute. So we have just about made our zebra tissue paper sun catcher. So what we did was we traced the body of the zebra twice so that we could make a zebra sandwich. We cut out some stripes from foam so that we could make stripes. You can do it on one side or both sides. We used some pipe cleaners to help us get some cool hair on our zebra. <laughs> I love that his hair is kind of sticking up funny. That makes me happy. <laughs> yep. And then make sure that you don't glue it to your paper because it's going to be a sun catcher once I let the glue dry. And you're going to be able to see through that tissue paper and kind of let the sun shine through and get all those beautiful colors with the sunshine. Now, one last step you can do if you want to is if you have markers, either the markers that come in the kit or any markers, you can make some final stripes on the legs too. So you're just going to take those and I'm gonna go for a green stripe first. And I'm just gonna make a green stripe on each one of these legs while I kind of wait for the rest of this glue to dry. It will dry. I just have to be patient and try not to keep touching it, <laughs> which is apparently hard for me to do. All right, this is it, it's gonna happen. And if I don't have success with that, then I'm gonna scrunch up some tissue paper and make a tissue paper tail if that doesn't work. So I made a green stripe on each one of my four legs. 
And now I'm gonna pick a yellow stripe on each one of my four legs. And then I'm gonna make a purple stripe. <laughs> I'm laughing because somebody said it's time for my zebra to have a haircut. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. My zebra's hair is beautiful. It is beautiful, just the way it is. Cool. And then I'm going to use the black one and I'm going to actually make some hooves. So I think the markers will work perfect for hooves. So got to put some shoes on this zebra so that it can go tap dancing. Because I've never seen a zebra tap dance, but I would like to see that. I think that would be fun. So there we go. We did it. We made it. So if you have more questions or if you're a little bit behind, there's a video that's already available or you can use your booklet to try and help you find all the steps and see if you might have gotten lost. Um, <laughs> why are you laughing? My zebra is beautiful. I love this zebra. I, it can have a haircut if it wants to, but it doesn't need to. So you can make your zebra sun catcher. There's enough, in the, there's enough in the kit to make three of them. So if you're not working with somebody else, with a friend or with a sibling, you can make it again and you can make it even more fabulous this next time. Um, and check out this video again. It'll be online tomorrow, this exact video, or um, you can watch the one that's already there for the tissue paper sun catcher. So I'm so glad that all of you came. Thank you so much. I would love to see a picture. So if there's an adult who has Instagram and wants to put it on hashtag learn with Michaels, um, I would love to see what your zebra looks like. And I hope that you come again. We have camp again on Friday. And then I will be teaching another class on Monday. So on Monday, we'll be learning um, a mixed media picture with an alligator wearing a bikini. So if that sounds like fun to you, which of course it is, please come back. So thanks for coming. See you later.